for today's vocabulary, uh, today's article is about a, uh, a great singer, Gregory Porter, and the influence that Nat King Cole has on his life. Uh, so, <clears throat> starting with number one, vinyl. Uh, do you guys know that one? For like the old style of records? You have to have you know the record player and put the needle down and it's like it spins around. So sometimes we call it vinyl mm -hmm. because it's the material that it's made out of. Do you guys know what vinyl is like? That material. It's like um, uh, sometimes people wear vinyl pants and it looks like fake leather. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 kind of like fake leather. So it's that kind of material. Uh, so when when someone talks about like. Their music collection, sometimes they refer to it as their vinyls. Number two, identify with, uh, is a great way to say that you connect with someone or someone's um, ideas or artwork or music really makes you feel like you can um, understand them or vice versa. Number three, uh, a nugget. Actually, this is actually kind of useful. Uh, <clears throat> it's basically um, just small, uh, short, but powerful or useful information or advice or tips. Sometimes we say, here's a little nugget for you. Like, here's a little tip for you or a piece of advice. Or you can say that somebody shared a nugget of information with you. Oh, um, you know, he just shared a little nugget with me. And uh, now I know about, you know, what's going on with this. Uh, number four, sharply dressed. Uh, I think that's kind of self-explanatory, but uh, if everybody could look at Jihan, he's very sharply dressed today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> don't be shy, Jihan. <laughs> so uh, basically, anytime that someone is wearing something that's very uh, presentable, usually, um, like a suit, but not just like, you know, you, you can have a suit that's very loose fitting, uh, that's not very flattering, that's not really sharp dressed. Sharply dressed should be something that matches, that is uh, custom fit to your body, uh, that is also presentable. Uh, it can be something that's professional looking or something that's for like a, a kind of special event. So, <clears throat> usually, when you refer to somebody as sh sharply dressed, it's usually uh, a male wearing a suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sometimes, whenever I meet some business people, I say, oh, look at you, you look sharp today. Number five, words of wisdom. <coughs> Uh, is an expression. I don't know why it says noun. I guess you can use it as a noun. We actually use it as an expression. Uh, let me share some words of wisdom with you. Let me share some uh, advice that has helped me in my experience. Number six, to dust off something is to, there's, there's two ways to dust off something. Uh, to make something kind of new again or if you uh, have something that's old, that's like an old memory, uh, if it's like some old photo albums or anything like that, when you dust it off, that means you're taking it out to look at it again or to use it again. And last, number seven, arrangement. Uh, arrangement is usually referred to um, the way that some music is composed. So, uh, and, and that refers to like everything from like the instruments to the voices, the singing. Um, and a lot of times you hear the word arrangement for when people are talking about classical music or jazz music, especially. And that's our vocabulary for today. <laughs>